Hello everybody, Chris here, and in this video we're going to be talking about rescaling your image and canvas within GIMP so that you can get the proper dimensions for whatever your project needs happen to be. So in this example, I'm trying to output an image of 1280 by 720p pixels. So to start, I go to image canvas size, and I change the canvas width and height to those exact dimensions, 1280 by 720p. And you can see in the preview box that part of the image is going to be cropped. However, it's important to note that this data is still in existence, it's just not shown within the canvas. To make the original image show fully in our new canvas size, I go to Layer, Scale Layer, and I change the uh, dimensions of the original image to something that should fit within our new canvas, 1280. Uh, width would be okay since that scales the height down as well, but I'm going to make it a little bit less. That's just to add some padding between the content of my image and the edges. However, even if I had set the width of the original image layer to 1280 pixels width, you would notice there being some transparent space above and below it. And that's just because the ratio on the original image was not a perfect 16 by 9. So no matter what, it's not going to scale perfectly into our new canvas. So to make the new canvas size work, we need to create a new background layer. And this background layer will help us fill in some of the space. In this particular instance, it's a very easy fix because the background of my original image was white. So we can simply expand that to cover all of the empty space. In order to do this, we can select the color picker from the main toolbox, go over to the original image layer, and then from there we can select a data point on the original image to get the white background, go back over to the new layer, and then use the fill bucket tool from the toolbox in order to fill in a perfect white background. As far as scaling the original image and canvas size goes, we're essentially done. Of course, you can take the time to add in text, special effects, whatever else you need to get the finished product right. And when you're finally done, you should have an image that you can export to the correct project dimensions that you need. So once again, I've been Chris. Thank you very much for watching, and I'll see you in my next video.